Here we presents the top 5 best portable air conditioners. Starting at number 5, Lenovo Chromebook Duet. The Lenovo Chromebook Duet is, in a way, exactly what I've wanted Apple and Microsoft to release. It's a $249 tablet with a detachable keyboard that comes included by default, so you're not paying extra for the laptop experience. We're also pretty impressed by its fantastic battery life, as well as some neat new tablet optimizations for Chrome. The biggest problem I found while writing this Lenovo Chromebook Duet review is that its typing experience is hampered by a weird keyboard layout and weak feeling keys. That being said, the Lenovo Chromebook Duet's a must consider for families looking for a shared device around the house. The Chromebook Duet's cover is necessary because you need its kickstand, which works most of the time, but feels a little frustrating. Several times when trying to deploy the kickstand, I've pulled on the entire back plate because the little edge where your fingers are supposed to grab onto for the kickstand is ever so slight, almost as if they're optimized for kids' fingers. This Lenovo Chromebook Duet review shows why it should garner deserved attention for its value proposition, giving you a two-in-one with a solid screen and long endurance for less than the iPad or Surface Go 2 cost before their keyboards. If only its keyboard weren't so cramped and its hinge felt a bit more solid. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Amazon Fire HD 10. Another year, another round of Amazon's budget bruisers, each priced and designed to muscle out the competition, or what modicum is left thereof at this point in time. Since the great tablet rush of the early 2010s, only a few players are left in the game. There's Apple, producing iPads with aplomb, and competing only with the odd half-hearted Samsung effort. And at the budget end of the market is Amazon, which has buried what little competition it ever had under an avalanche of plastic fantastics. But of its carousel of contenders, it is the biggest, the Amazon Fire HD 10, which is the crown jewel. With the most powerful chipset, the most advanced screen, and the strongest multimedia skills, it is the model to beat. This said, it is also the most expensive, and as such has the most to prove. We also have the return of show mode, which is another attempt by the firm to push its almost omnipresent Alexa digital assistant. With a compatible dock attached, this allows your tablet to serve as a smart display, charging and displaying information at the same time. We didn't receive a dock and so cannot test this part, however the feature still works the same when plugged into the wall. With a decent screen, reasonable speakers, respectable battery life and enough performance to make it through most activities, the Amazon Fire HD 10 functions well as an everyday tablet. The divisive software experience on board may be a deal breaker for some, however. Halfway of my listed number 3. Lenovo Yoga 9i. The Lenovo Yoga 9i is a new line of consumer laptops that succeeds the Lenovo Yoga C940 and comes with 14 or 15. 6 inches displays. In this article, we're going to review the Lenovo Yoga 9i15. 6 equipped with a 4K display, an Intel Core i9 10980HK CPU, 16GB of RAM, 1TB of SSD NVMe storage, and an NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1650T graphic processor. The Yoga 9i is designed for gaming and work according to Lenovo. The idea is to make it particularly attractive to creative workers, influencers but also gamers. In recent years, these users have had converging CPU and GPU needs. As a yoga laptop, the display can open 360 degrees to transform the Yoga 9i into a tablet-style computer. The integrated pen makes this even more interesting as you can then take notes and sketch with speed and precision. On this 15. 6-inch version, the integrated pen is stored on the laptop's right side, making it easy to access store. The pen's charging happens in there, so you never run out of battery. The Lenovo Yoga 9i is a formidable upgrade of the Lenovo Yoga C740 15. 6-inch, and although it is also considerably more expensive than the Yoga C740, you get what you pay for. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S7 Plus wows with strong performance and a gorgeous 12. 4-inch Super AMOLED display, and its S Pen and optional 5G make it the best Android productivity tablet you can get. This year's Galaxy Tab S7 and S7 Plus models don't stray far from the look of the S6 family. That means a clean design with minimal, 
symmetrical bezels, and flat metal edges with a lovely brushed finish. Samsung did make some smart changes with the S7 series this generation, including one that seems pre-signedly designed for the hellscape year 2020 has turned out to be, putting the front facer along the tablet's long edge such that it's oriented ideally for video conferencing. Of course, we've got an included S Pen, which magnetically docks to the tablet's rear and wireless charges, so it can work its Bluetooth magic. Bigger than a Note S Pen, it's pretty comfortable to use, but I still don't love how insecure the magnetic connection feels, it's fine when you're covering it with a case, but is a little exposed on its own. Samsung ships the Tab S7 Plus with a regular 15W charger, which is just indefensible for a device of this stature, and at this price point, even the mid-range A71 5G got a faster one. There's support for 45W charging, and I highly suggest you pick such a charger up, if you're planning to use the tablet for serious productivity. If that's your goal, you might want to look into Samsung's Bookcover keyboard. While that's a very expensive upgrade, considering what you're already paying, the desire to get your money's worth out of this hardware is high. And number 1. Apple iPad Pro 12. 9-inch. The iPad Pro 2020 answers our long-standing request by adding mouse and trackpad support in earnest. The iOS 13. 2 feature is cleverly designed to overcome the hurdles of adding cursor navigation to an operating system designed around touch. For some, trackpad support is enough to turn the iPad Pro into a genuine laptop replacement and a true competitor to the Surface Pro 7. For everyone else, the iPad Pro 2020 is a modest improvement to what was already the world's best tablet. Performance gets a slight boost with a new A12C Bionic chip, and a new dual-camera system delivers stunning photos. Perhaps the most interesting new feature is a lighter scanner, a depth sensor that makes Arkansas apps more compelling. Apple didn't make any substantial design changes to the new iPad Pro. Available in space gray and silver, the aluminum slate looks identical to its predecessor apart from the rear camera module, which features dual lenses and the lighter scanner and a square housing. Also on the rear is a large Apple logo and off-color antenna bands. The front is dominated by a 12. 9-inch display that stretches to the edges of the tablet. As a reminder, Apple ditched the physical home button for on-screen gestures in the 2018 model to maximize the screen-to-body ratio. The effect is mesmerizing, especially when you're holding a display as gorgeous as the one on the iPad Pro. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe.